Dan, you've been all over the Houston area today covering the flash flooding. How's the situation looking where you are tonight? Things look okay right now, but Harris County Sheriff's deputies say this area, State Highway 99 and Glenlock Forest Drive, caused problems all evening with cars like this one having to be towed. But this weather has impacted many areas, and officials are trying to stay prepared. Mother Nature already making a statement all over South Texas. This week we are expected to get uh, a lot of rain. As officials in Houston prepare. Lake Houston's going to be dropped one foot to carry a little bit of extra water. Others like those in Kingwood are dealing with this. We got a uh, call from our coworker and she was stuck out here. And we came over here, drove over here and she got out of the car. Up in Dayton in Liberty County, this is the view of Highway 321 at US 90. Then traffic on Highway 146. Also, cars stuck. Back in town, these five ton high water rescue vehicles are no joke. Trying to be as prepared as we possibly can. We've got all of our high water rescue vehicles uh, geared up. Plus, we've got several boats that we're making sure are fueled up and, and ready to go as well. And we're told that one of those boats in Precinct 1 can access very shallow water, as shallow as three to four inches, something they learned they needed after Harvey. For now, reporting live from Northwest Harris County, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Roseanne. We did get a good look at those heavy rains. Thanks to you, our viewers. You sent us what you were seeing through Click 2 Pins. You showed us the heavy damage, the pounding rain, and the climbing water. But as the weather moved on, some found their way out to enjoy a little bit of fun. <laughs>